What's up guys, Cody here. Um, this is my first video in a while. I haven't made one uh, in about like two weeks because I've just been stupid busy uh, with like school and getting ready for a Halloween party. Uh, we've been getting all the shit that we need to get everything set up. Um, and I've been doing I've actually been working out with my mom. I've been going run with her, trying to stay fit or trying to get in shape because I'm not in shape. Uh, I mean, all those years of eating McDonald's, I mean, shit, we have a McDonald's right over our street, so got to get rid of that uh, flab, right? All right. Um, so uh, I was just going to make a little quick, quick little video update. Uh, saying, you know, what's up? I'm not dead. Uh, I, I say that every time and I don't make a video for a while for some reason, I'm gonna. But, um, let me think if anything's new. I'm working on a painting and I'll actually show you guys that. So, let me get up. Let me get it. Got it. And sit back down. Ugh. Comfortable again. All right, so I've uh, been working on a painting and I'm working on fixing my hair. So I haven't taken a shower yet today, so just, yeah. Um, I've been working on this for I've I started it and I didn't finish it. I have a problem with that. I have a huge problem with that. Starting something and not finishing it. But um, this is it so far. I mean, it's just a rose, but uh, you can see what I'm going, where I'm going with it. So uh, yeah, uh, the the tips of it are uh, yellow, and you can you can definitely tell. So yeah. Um, uh, last time I worked on this was probably a week, or week and a half ago, so gotta get with that. <sighs> um, I got a life-size skeleton from Target that I am in the process of corpsing. And if you guys don't know what corpsing is, it is taking a plastic skeleton and making him look like a corpse. So, the way I'm doing that is with a, uh, it's a three pack of, uh, actually, you know what, just fucking gonna get that too. Just gonna get everything while I'm at it. Ugh. All right. And now we come back here and sit down and get comfortable again. So... I'm gonna try to make this video kind of short. Um, I gotta tilt my head now to see the time since the iOS 7 update. Which, by the way, I am kind of liking. Um, the only problem I have is that I did like the double click, uh, the double tap thing to open up the uh, bottom thing with all the apps and, and uh, with the with the music. I did like that. And when it's when the phone's locked, you can't just double double click and play your music you have to do that swipe up thing and also with the swipe up the control thing or whatever um, when you're when you're texting someone and you want to maybe disable the turn uh, the lock rotation or whatever uh, you have to swipe it and it, that that's really annoying because you'll swipe sometimes and it'll it, all, all you'll hear is the uh, the tap of the little buttons, uh, the, the letters. So, that's pretty fucking annoying. I don't know about you guys, but... I, I'm okay with it, but they need to fuck, fucking fix it. Alright, so, um, anyway, what I'm doing is... I got these at Lowe's. It is a three-pack of uh, plastic drop cloths. And they are point 
This is 0.7 mil light duty plastic drop cloth. Uh, these were about seven dollars, and this is a lot. This is only three, and you probably see four in there because I have uh, an unfinished one, an unused one. So uh, that is a lot, and that can fill all that, and I will show you that in a second. Um, so I'm using these and a uh, a heat gun. And I'm using this one. And it actually works pretty good. Pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it just smells like shit. But they refuse to tell you that. It smells like shit. It smells like shit. I'm telling you right now. Um, so, anyway, what you do, basically, you tear off some of this. Um, and just when you tear out maybe about, like, an arm's worth, like, not even, maybe a little shorter, uh, watch out when you unfold it because that shit gets everywhere and it's one big sheet but damn it's ridiculous all right so anyway i'm trying to keep this video short it's not working it's not working um so i'm gonna show you what i what you do with it and then i'm gonna wait i don't even i don't even know what i'm doing i don't even know okay what am i doing what am i doing okay this is what i'm doing what you do is that you take out a sheet of it, lay it on the skeleton, and then uh, use your heat gun to melt it to the skeleton. And it forms to the plastic, so it like stays on there. And then once you put more layers on there, it stays better. So, um, the I don't really know how the fuck I'm gonna do this. All right, wait. Let's go around the lamp. Okay. So, let's see if it'll stay. No, it will not. Okay. Great. Okay. So, um, as you can see here, this is all the plastic. This is all plastic right here. And I'm actually just going to hold the phone. Um, this is the skeleton I got from Target. Pretty decent size. So, uh,. What I did first, I did the first layer of it, and then I did the back, and then just kept wrapping it up, and then uh, you can see it has this nice, uh, like, withered effect of, like, maybe him going starving or something. And then uh, I did the, I did it on his face too. I wrapped his face, so I could put some uh, liquid latex on him and make him all zombified or some shit. Um, I started doing his arm, uh, so the arm is uh, coming along quite nice too. I did the hands too, you can do the fingers. Uh, what I did, I just wrapped it up first and then cut in between the fingers and just uh, started wrapping it up. So, And it actually keeps its uh, bendability a little bit and it, it'll still be a... Uh, bendable but uh yeah so uh that one more look at his chest so uh yeah and it's uh pretty good for uh making him look kind of like decayed i'm just gonna sit right here it's pretty good for making him look like decayed or withered or withering whichever one you want to do uh but that's basically the idea what i'm doing with this guy um so, his name's Jerry, by the way. Yes, I named him Jerry. Fuck off. So, uh, that's what I'm doing with him. And, uh, when I'm actually finished, uh, getting him all plastic, plastified, I'll, uh, put some paint on him. Uh, you can actually use gel stainer. So, I'm gonna try that out and see what happens. And then I'll put some liquid latex on him and try to make him look kinda skinny and, uh, skinified. Like he's been skinned alive or some shit. But anyway, that's uh, that's about it, you guys. And I'm trying to figure out if I need to show you anything else. Nope. Nope. So, 
Um, if you have not checked out my uh, Saturn 9 gameplay, go check that out. And as soon as that gets a few more love, uh, a few more views, I'll uh, put up the other one. I have all three. It's three parts, and I have the other two already filmed. So um, as soon as this one gets a few more views, I'll go ahead and put it up if you guys dig it. If you don't, whatever. Um, I'll eventually put up the other two anyway. So... Uh, if you're interested, go check it out. It's an indie horror game. Uh, it's really fun, actually. So uh, go check out the gameplay I did. Um, it is using my phone, so it's not a screen capture. So I'm sorry for that, but I didn't have anything else, so I used my phone. So anyway, um, that's it. So I will see you guys later. So comment, rate, subscribe. Uh, if you have any tips on uh, that guy. Just uh, go ahead and leap, let me know, and I will see you guys later.